Cristiano Ronaldo. A football feature. Cristiano Ronaldo is widely regarded as one of the best soccer players of all time. Ronaldo was born on February 5, 1985, in Madeira, Portugal, into a working-class household with three siblings. Dinas, his father, was a kit man for a local soccer team, and Maria, his mother, was a cook and cleaner. Cristiano Ronaldo's path to become a soccer superstar began when he was a child. He was born in Madeira, Portugal, and grew up playing for local clubs Andorinha and Nazionale. Ronaldo's ability for the sport was obvious from an early age, but it wasn't until he went on trial with Sporting CP at the age of 12 that his career truly took off. Sporting CP, one of Portugal's finest soccer clubs, sent something unique in Ronaldo and bought him for £1,500. This was a pivotal event for the little Madeira kid who had lived up with very little. Ronaldo relocated from Madeira to Alcaxé, near Lisbon, to join Sporting's Junior Academy, leaving his family and friends in the process. Ronaldo decided to drop out of school at the age of 14 to focus solely on his soccer career. This was a difficult decision, but Ronaldo thought he had the potential to play semi-professionally and desired to devote himself entirely to the sport. But, it was not an easy road. Ronaldo struggled to adjust to life in Lisbon and had a difficult time as a student. Yet Ronaldo's love for the game never wavered. He was diagnosed with tachycardia one year after graduating from high school, a disease that might have ended his soccer career before it ever began. Ronaldo had heart surgery in which a laser was used to join numerous cardiac channels into one, changing his resting heart rate. Surprisingly, he was released from the hospital only hours after the operation and returned to training a few days later. It didn't take long for Ronaldo's skill to shine through. He was immediately promoted to the senior team and made his Sporting Lisbon debut at the age of 17 in 2002. He scored five goals in 31 appearances in his debut season and helped his club win the Portuguese Cup. Cristiano Ronaldo is regarded as one of the best footballers of all time, and his time at Manchester United was pivotal in his development. Ronaldo's move to Manchester United was finalised on August 12, 2003, becoming him the club's first Portuguese player. His £12.24 million transfer cost made him the most expensive teenager in English football history at the time. Ronaldo sought the number 28, his sporting number, but was handed the number 7 shirt, which had previously been worn by George Best, Eric Cantona, and David Beckham. Sporting the number 7 provided further inspiration for Ronaldo, who went on to become one of the club's best players. On 16 August 2003, Ronaldo made his Premier League debut as a substitute in a 4-0 home win over Bolton Wanderers, garnering a standing ovation as he came on for Nicky Butt. George Best praised his performance, calling it undoubtedly the most exhilarating debut he had ever seen. On November 1, Ronaldo scored his first goal for Manchester United with a free kick in a 3-0 win over Portsmouth. Three more league goals followed in the second half of the season, the last of which came on the final day of the season against Aston Villa, a match in which he also earned his first red card of his career. On 29 October 2004, Ronaldo scored United's 1,000th Premier League goal in a 4-1 loss to Middlesbrough. A few weeks later, he signed a two-year extension to his prior contract with the club, Ronaldo had two of his greatest games of the 2004-2005 season at the start of 2005, scoring and assisting against Aston Villa and scoring twice against rivals Arsenal. He played the whole 120-minute match against Arsenal in the 2005 FA Cup final, which concluded in a goalless draw. Despite Ronaldo's goal in the penalty shootout, United fell 5-4. Ronaldo won his second English football trophy, the Football League Cup, after scoring the third goal in Manchester United's 4-0 victory over Wigan Athletic. Ronaldo's excellent success continued the next season, as he helped Manchester United defend their Premier League Championship and win the UEFA Champions League. 
he was key to their European campaign, scoring eight goals in ten games, including a game-winning penalty in the final shootout against Chelsea. His efforts won him the UEFA Champions League final man of the match title in 2008. Ronaldo's personal achievements that season was also noteworthy. He received his first Ballon d'Or, which is given to the greatest player in Europe, as well as his first FIFA World Player of the Year award. He was the first player since Ronaldo, the Brazilian, in 2002 to win both accolades in the same year. He also won the Premier League Golden Boot after scoring 31 goals in 38 Premier League games, setting the record for most goals in a 38-game season. He was also named PFA Players Player of the Year and FWA Footballer of the Year. Ronaldo continued to dominate both domestically and in Europe the next season. He became the first Portuguese player to score 100 goals for Manchester United in a 5-0 win over Stoke City in January 2009. He scored 18 goals in 33 games to help United win their third Premier League title in a row. His final match for Manchester United, though, was a loss in the 2009 UEFA Champions League final against Barcelona. Ronaldo scored 118 goals in 292 Manchester United games and won nine major trophies during his stint at the club. At Old Trafford, he became a fan favourite, and his talent, pace, and goal-scoring ability cemented his place as one of the best players to ever wear the red jersey. His time at Manchester United was a pivotal point in his growth as a player, and he attributes his success to Sir Alex Ferguson. With Manchester United, Ronaldo rapidly established himself as one of the top players in the world. During his six-year tenure with the club, he won three Premier League crowns, one Champions League, and one FA Cup. Ronaldo won the Ballon d'Or, the world's most prestigious award for the greatest player, after scoring 42 goals in all competitions during the 2007-2008 season. After six years at Manchester United, Ronaldo joined Real Madrid in 2009. He became an instant phenomenon, astounded spectators with his amazing speed, agility, and brilliance on the field. In his debut season with the squad, he scored 33 goals in 35 league games and helped the team win La Liga. Ronaldo proceeded to dominate on the field during the following few years, amassing an incredible amount of goals and assists. He was especially dominant in the Champions League, when he set a new record with 17 goals in the 2013-2014 season. Ronaldo scored 450 goals in 438 Real Madrid appearances, becoming him the club's all-time greatest scorer. Yet Ronaldo's influence on Real Madrid extended beyond his on-field play. He also helped to raise the squad's profile off the field, providing star power and media attention that the team had never seen before. Ronaldo's large social media following and numerous media appearances aided in raising Real Madrid's global reputation and attracting new supporters. Ronaldo's tenure at Real Madrid will be recognized as one of the best times in the club's illustrious history. He was a key figure in the teams for Champions League titles, two La Liga crowns, and countless more local and international triumphs. His remarkable talent, work ethic, and passion to the game have earned him a place in football history, and his time at Real Madrid will be recognized as one of the best times in the club's history. Cristiano Ronaldo made headlines in 2018 when he announced his departure from Real Madrid and transfer to Juventus. The deal was one of the most costly in football history, and fans worldwide were anxious to see how Ronaldo fared with his new squad. After nine years with Real Madrid, Ronaldo joined Juventus in July 2018. His arrival was welcomed with considerable acclaim, with fans and experts alike speculating on how he would fit into the team's style of play. Yet Ronaldo immediately addressed any worries by dazzling fans with his tremendous technique and scoring power. Ronaldo scored 28 goals in 43 games in his debut season at Juventus, guiding the team win their ninth straight Serie A title. In the Champions League round of 16, he also scored a hat-trick against Atletico Madrid, guaranteeing Juventus participation in the quarter-finals. 
Ronaldo's influence on Juventus was unquestionable. He helped the squad reach new heights, and his presence on the pitch established them as a force to be reckoned with in both home and international play. He made an undeniable stamp on the club's history. Cristiano Ronaldo made a victorious return to Manchester United in August 2021, the club where he first earned a name for himself on the international scene. The transfer sparked enthusiasm among fans all around the world, who were looking forward to seeing Ronaldo reunited with his former teammates. Despite his remarkable success with other clubs, Ronaldo's return to Manchester United was regarded as a type of homecoming. He was already established as a team legend and returning only cemented that sentiment. Cristiano Ronaldo has always been a sought-after player as one of the most successful and recognized players of all time. He made news once more in September 2022 when he revealed his unexpected move to Al Nasser, a top-tier football team headquartered in Saudi Arabia. Fans all across the world were shocked and excited by Ronaldo's transfer to Al Nasser. Ronaldo had previously played for Manchester United, one of the most powerful teams in the world, thus the move was surprising. Ronaldo, on the other hand, regarded the transfer as a fresh challenge and an opportunity to continue pushing himself to new heights. Ronaldo's entrance in Saudi Arabia was received with much acclaim, with supporters anxiously anticipating his debut with the squad. Ronaldo scored a fantastic goal in his debut game with Al Nasser, demonstrating his remarkable talent and athleticism. One of the most renowned and recognized episodes of Cristiano Ronaldo's extraordinary career is his international victories with Portugal. As one of the greatest footballers of all time, Ronaldo has helped lead his country to new heights of international achievement. Ronaldo made his first appearance for the Portuguese national team in 2003, when he was only 18 years old. He would go on to become the team's all-time leading scorer during the following two decades, solidifying his reputation as one of the best players in Portuguese football history. One of Ronaldo's most memorable national team moments occurred in 2016, when he helped Portugal win the UEFA European Championship. Despite enormous odds and several significant injuries, Ronaldo and his colleagues battled their way to the final, where they played the strongly favored French squad. Ronaldo was forced to leave the final early owing to injury. His presence on the sidelines, on the other hand, continued to motivate his teammates, who went on to win the game in extra time courtesy to a magnificent goal from Edda. Fans and commentators across the world have taken note of Ronaldo's efforts to the Portuguese national team. His extraordinary skill, leadership, and passion to the game have helped boost Portugal's reputation on the world arena, and his legacy as one of the game's best players is certain. Off the field, Ronaldo has been an effective advocate for his own nation. He has utilized his global platform to promote tourism in Portugal and to show the world the country's beauty and culture. For nearly a decade, the argument between Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi has fascinated the world of football. Ronaldo and Messi have been compared and contrasted in innumerable ways as two of the best players in the history of the sport, with fans and commentators alike providing their thoughts on who is the superior player. Ronaldo and Messi emerged to popularity around the same time, making their debuts for their respective teams in the mid-2000s. They have both established records and won countless trophies throughout the years, with one player pushing the other to new heights of brilliance. The way their playing styles differ is one of the most fascinating parts of the Ronaldo vs Messi argument. Ronaldo is recognized for his remarkable speed, agility, and precise shooting, but Messi is celebrated on the pitch for his incredible dribbling abilities, inventiveness, and vision. Ronaldo and Messi have also pursued divergent routes off the field. Ronaldo has been recognized for his commitment to fitness and self-improvement, whilst Messi has been more private and reserved in his personal life. Regardless of their differences, Ronaldo and Messi have both shown to be real champions on the pitch. 
They have each received multiple honors and broken numerous records, and their extraordinary talent and commitment have inspired countless young players all across the world. As the discussion between Ronaldo and Messi rages on, one thing is certain, both players have made an undeniable effect on the world of football, and their legacy as two of the sport's greatest players are solid. Whether you like Ronaldo, Messi, or both, there is no doubting the immense influence these two players have had on the sport and the world of sports in general. Ronaldo's on-field brilliance has also garnered him enormous fortune and renown. He has endorsement deals with Nike, Tag Heuer, and Herbalife, and Forbes rated him the highest paid athlete in the world in 2016 and 2017. Ronaldo is well known for his charity activity outside of football. He has given millions of dollars to numerous charities, including children's hospitals and disaster aid. Do Something named him the world's most generous athlete in 2015. Ronaldo has been noted for his hard ethic and devotion to the sport throughout his career. He is always looking for ways to better his game and is never happy with mediocrity. Your love makes me strong, your hate makes me unstoppable, he once declared, demonstrating his great resolve and competitive attitude. Ronaldo will be 38 years old in 2023, yet he shows no signs of slowing down. He is still regarded as one of the top players in the world, setting records and breaking barriers. His sporting legacy is undeniable, and he has inspired countless young players around the world to pursue their dreams. Ronaldo is a family man in addition to his playing accomplishments. He is the father of four children, including twins delivered through surrogacy in 2017. He frequently posts images and videos of his family on social media, demonstrating his affection for them. Ronaldo has remained grounded and appreciative for his accomplishments despite his fame and money. He frequently discusses his modest beginnings and the hard effort it required to get to where he is now. He has also been a prominent champion for mental health, openly discussing his personal anxiety difficulties in interviews and on social media. As Ronaldo nears the conclusion of his career, fans and experts alike argue where he rates among soccer's all-time greats. Nevertheless, regardless of where he ranks in the record books, there is no disputing the influence he has had on the sport and the globe. Ronaldo's narrative is one of endurance, determination, and unrivaled talent that will continue to inspire future generations. For all things football, be sure to subscribe to Football Features.